Hey guys, Bruce with DIY Homestead Projects. A while back I made this welding chipping hammer and it's been working pretty good as I practice welding for chipping off the slag and so forth. But I've noticed one end I just sharp I, I just ground it down and bring brought it to a point. This was made out of an old grounding rod or something that I found. And then the other tip the flat side, I welded a piece of mild steel on here and sharpened up the edge to use it as a more uh, flat piece for chipping slag. But I've noticed over time that that mild steel is flattened out a little bit and it's just not a very good edge for chipping slag. It's just too soft a to metal. I should have known that at the time. I didn't, but I learned it. So what I'm going to do, whatever steel this grounding rod's made out of, it's a much more stronger steel and uh, higher carbon content, I suppose, than this uh, piece of flat, flat stock that I put on there. So I'm going to cut this off, and then I'm going to cut another piece of this round bar. I have a three or four foot section left over. I'm going to make a flat chisel point on the end of it. And then I'm going to weld it onto this chipping hammer and shape it and use it instead of this piece that I put on there. Just to modify this a little bit and make it a little nicer hammer so it works well. The, uh, the pointed end, the end that I ground to a point, that actually works really good. It's, uh, I checked it with the file. It's a much harder steel. And if I can make a flat piece out of it, put it on this side I'll be in pretty good shape. So that's what I'm going to do. Since I don't have a forge, I'm going to just try to cut a bit of a point in this, and then I can finish it up with the grinder. This way I won't have to be doing so much grinding. I went a lot different angle on the second side than the first side. But that's okay, I got a pretty good point on the end of it. I'll just kind of touch that up with the grinder. Alright, I got a pretty good point on there. 
I don't think I well it's hard to hold in front of the camera <laughs> sorry about the shakiness guys I don't think I want a real like knife edge on it or anything so it's probably a 16th or 32nd and uh, I may have to do I'm, I'm gonna put a little heat treat on this if it's uh, thin enough that I can get it red hot on the tip with just a small propane torch harden it then I'm gonna smooth it out and uh, try to anneal it slightly I think what I want is the straw color you can see it's kind of a dark blue and a purple and the farther back we go we get into the straw but that's what I want out on the tip right now it's uh, probably been heated up to the point where it's uh, what do they call that normalized or something anyway that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sand this off so I can see it smooth then I'm gonna put a little heat treat on that then I'll cut it off well maybe what I'll do is uh, weld it onto the hammer first so that that doesn't change the heat. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm going to cut this off and get it welded onto the uh, onto the uh, chipping hammer right there. Let's see where I cut that off. So let's get that done. I'm going to cut this off, get it welded on there. Boy, I love this saw one of the best hundred bucks I ever spent for my little shop it's uh, the Bauer portable bandsaw from Harbor Freight fantastic tool I think today we'll use the Harbor Freight 90 amp flux core welder that's been modified Let's see if I can tack it and then weld it I don't even have my welding gloves on, just my regular gloves. That's okay. Kind of a nasty looking weld but I have a grinder so I'll grind that down and see what it looks like so this is what it looks like now after I did some grinding on that horrible looking weld that's okay it doesn't have to look good it just has to work good and I've got the tip shined up and ground down to the shape I think I want it to be and it's pretty soft right now because when I was it's, it was easy to file so now I'm going to try to heat that up till it's cherry red hot this is my first time trying to uh, heat treat and anneal a tool yeah we'll see how it goes I am definitely no expert in this field but we'll see what I can do now, I don't want to file too much on the tip because I got it what I wanted there but listen to this it definitely grabs digs into the metal so let's see if my little propane torch will be enough to heat the tip of this up to where I can get it red hot and then dunk it and I'm just gonna dunk it in water that may not be the best heck I don't know I don't have any oil so I'm just gonna dump it in water see what happens all right in the vise and all I have is a small propane torch for like soldering and that sort of thing I think it'll put out enough heat I can definitely get it harder than what it is and then I'm just gonna dunk it into a styrofoam cup of water just regular old tap water we'll see what happens See if I can get it hot enough to uh, do any good here.
This might take a while, so we'll fast forward if it takes too darn long. Can of map gas or a bottle of map gas, which burns hotter than propane. Thought I'd give that a shot. It took quite a while, but I was able to heat up the tip about a quarter of an inch or so to where it was a red hot. It wasn't glowing cherry red, but it was glowing red. Dunked it in the water, and I'm definitely a little harder than what I was before. And my file is now skating off of it, I think, like it should. So I'm going to go with that. So let me wire brush this to clean it up, and then I'll anneal it to the uh, straw color, and we'll see what happens. Looks pretty good to me. Much, much better than it was. All right. Not a bad weld either. For a rookie. I just beat the heck out of it because I really want to test out the edge on that chipping hammer. It may not be done perfectly, but for the first attempt, it's a whole lot better than what it was. And it'll beat up to some slag now. So, Alright guys, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.